16 volt lithium batteries are kind of the new thing. There's been a couple brands out there that have had them for a while. There's some new entrants to that 16 volt space. You'll see them installed in professionals boats for the upcoming season, but that's not what you need. So what exactly is a 16 volt battery? So they're just essentially adding another string to the battery pack. So instead of having uh, four 3.2 volt cells, they've got another one and they're coming up to a 16 volt battery. So let's run some math here real quick. So a 16 volt, 16 volt, 30 amp hour battery is 480 watt hours. Okay, that um, that's about $150 battery, and you divide that by the 480 watt hours, watts, and that's going to get you 31 cents per watt hour. So from a price standpoint, you're at 31 cents a watt hour for a entry level like a budget 16 volt, 30 amp hour battery. Now, if you were to get, you know, spend $150 on a 12 volt battery, okay, you've got a 12.8 volt battery and you can get a 50 amp hour battery for $150. That's gonna get you 640 watt hours. There's more energy in the 16, in the 12 volt battery. 600, uh, $150 battery divided by 640 it's gonna be 23 cents, whoop, 23 cents per watt hour. Okay, so there's, there's just like the basic math behind. Hopefully you can see my board here. So you're saving some money when it comes to that. The 16 volt batteries obviously need a new charger. So perhaps you already have a charger and, and you wanna just carry it over. You have to have an incremental cost to go to a 16 volt charger because it will not carry over. Your 12 volt will not do it. And so maybe you already have a charger that's an incremental potential expense. There's also not that many 16 volt chargers. So instead of having one charger on your boat, you can very quickly have a 12 volt charger on your boat and then a 16 volt. So you're adding some additional complexity to your charging system. So that's the basic math on the dollars per watt hour. So that's not really the reason, it's not always just cost on why people are considering the 16 volt battery. They're talking about performance. So let's get to that aspect too. When you increase the voltage of a component, you typically reduce the overall current. And when you reduce the current, you can reduce the voltage drop across that circuit. So if you're not familiar with voltage drop, I'll link a video up here. I kind of recommend you go there first to make sure you have a good understanding of what voltage drop is. It's not just the, the source voltage being reduced. It's going to be the actual consumption of energy going through your wires and your boats. So that's called voltage drop. That's the resistance of your wiring consuming energy. And so let's just, let's just pick an example of being a Garmin. We got a Garmin 126 SV, and that's gonna pull 2.5 amps at 12 volts DC. So when you pull that amount of energy, you're pulling 2.5 amps, that's gonna be 30 watts to run that component on the boat. So as we convert that over, let's get that over to a current draw at 16 volts. So we're gonna take 16 volts using Ohm's law here and divide it by 30 watts. And that's going to be 1.875 amps. So you can see just by the nature of changing voltages, we're going from 2.5 amps at 12 volts to 1.9 amps at 16 volts. That, that's not a huge difference, but where that comes into play is, is into the voltage drop calculation. So let's just assume your current circuitry is running at like a 0.7 volt drop. So between your battery and your head unit, you're losing 0.7 volts at 12 volts. I know that's kind of, this is drop, voltage drop at 12 volts. How much energy is that? So we're gonna take our 0.7 equals 2.5 times the resistance or R or omega, whatever you wanna call it. Rearrange that, we're gonna have 0.7 divided by 2.5 and that's gonna give us the resistance of our circuit at 0 0.28 ohms. Okay, so now let's calculate that out. That's the 16 volt number of what we got up here. So we've got a circuit that's gonna be our voltage drop or V drop. It's gonna be equal to 1.875 amps is what we did earlier, times 0 0.28 ohms, which is what we calculated up here, and our voltage drop 
at 16 volts is going to be equal to 0 0.175 volts. Okay, so we're going to go from a 0.7 volt drop at 12 volts, roughly, to a 0.2 drop. That's good, right? Um, let's, let's keep those two numbers here on the side. So 0 0.175 volts at 16, and at 12 volts, we're gonna call it 0 0.7 volts. We're gonna erase this real quick. So let's just say you're starting your day off fishing. You turn on your graphs, it's gonna drop your voltage a little bit. You're at 13.3 volts first thing in the morning. You've got your 0.7 volts drop along your circuit. So your fish finder is gonna show you 12.6 volts. Okay? Now let's just assume you're starting off, maybe it's a 16 volt battery. Let's just call it 16.4 volts. And you've got a 0 0.2 volt drop. That's gonna get you to 16.2 volts at the graph. Now, I think a lot of people think, well, 16 volts is a hell of a lot better than 12 volts, isn't it? Uh, no, it's actually not. So I've reached out to Garmin, Lowrance, and Humminbird, customer support, and as have others, and they all say that anything over 12 volts does not increase performance in any way. It's not gonna make your screen clearer. It's not gonna make it work faster. It's not gonna make you catch a 10 pounder. So there is no value, arguably, to have a higher voltage than the 12.6. So you're buying a new battery uh, at a higher price point. You're having to buy a new charger that you probably didn't need or maybe didn't need. All for what? So you can reduce your voltage drop? Your, your 0.7? Uh, well, a way you can make that better is just putting in the proper wiring. So let's just assume you've got 10 gauge wiring, you've got good stuff. You know, you can get this 0.7 down to 0.4. Get, that'll get this up to 12.8. I mean, there's when you properly install your electronics, there's no need uh, to, to up the voltage. And when they're saying increased run times, okay, yeah, you're going from 2.5 amps in our, in our example here to 1.9. Um, I mean, most people have plenty of energy on board that that's really not gonna make a difference in your overall run time. And um, I'm just not buying it. So let me know what you think in the comments. This is kind of my take on the 16 volt battery setup. Obviously, I don't run one. I don't need to run one. I don't want to add another battery to my boat. I don't want to add another charger to my boat for no increase in performance. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.